discuss the novel a uh, rose for emily sorry uh, it it is a short story by american author william uh, fulkner first published on april 13 april 1930 in a issue of the forum the story takes place in Faulkner's fictional Jefferson, Mississippi in the uh, uh, equally fictional uh, county of Yokana Patafa. Um, it was Faulkner's first short story published in National Magazine, A Rose for Only. Now the plot summary is the story opens with a brief first person account of the uh, funeral of Emily uh, Grierson, an elderly southern woman whose funeral is the obligation of the town. It then proceeds in a non linear fashion to the narrator's recollection of Emily's archaic and increasingly strange behavior throughout the years. Emily is a member of a family of the uh, anti William Chowdhury aristocracy. After the civil war, the family falls into hard times. She and her father were the last two survivors of the branch of the family. Emily's father refused to allow her to marry. Her father dies when Emily is about to the age of 30, uh, which takes her by surprise for several days. She refuses to give up his cropsy, insisting he is not dead. The townspeople write uh, it off as her uh, grieving process. They pity Emily for losing her father, but also for uh, also for his not having uh, allowed her to marry. Emily depended heavily on her father, believing he would never leave her. He was all she had. After her father's death, the only person seen moving about Emily's home is Toby, a black man serving as Emily's butler. He is frequently seen, uh, frequently seen entering and uh, existing the house for uh, for groceries. Although the uh, reclusive Emily did not have a strong relationship. With the town, she did give art lessons to young children until she was 40. She did so as she was running out of money. With the acceptance of her father's death, Emily somewhat revives when changing the style of her hair and becomes friendly with Homer Baron, a laborer from the north who, come, who comes to town shortly after Mr. Grierson's death. The connection surprises some of the community while others are glad she is taking an interest. However, it is stated that Homer liked men and it was known that he drank with younger men at the Ilks Club, that he was not a marrying man, which draws attention to Homer's sexuality but an exact conclusion cannot be drawn. Emily buys arsenic uh, from the town's druggist but refuses to give a reason so he assumes it uh, is to kill rats. Some townspeople are convinced that she will use it to poison herself. Emily's distant con uh, cousins are called into town by the minister's wife to supervise Miss Emily and Homer Baron. Emily is seen in town buying wedding pa uh, presents for Homer, including a monogrammed toilet set. Homer leaves town for some time, re rep uh, reputedly. To give Emily a chance to get rid of her uh, cousins.
cousins and returns three days later after the cousins have left. After he is observed uh, entering Miss Emily's house one evening, Homer is never seen again, leading the townsfolk to believe he ran off. Despite these uh, run, uh, runabouts in her social status, Emily continues to behave mysteriously as she had before her father died. Her uh, reputation is such that the city council finds itself unable to confront her about a strong smell that, uh, that has begun to uh, emanate um, from the house. They believe Toby was unable to maintain the house and something was rotting. Instead, the council decides to send Wayne to her house under the cover of darkness to sprinkle lime around the house. After which this smell uh, dispatches the mayor of the town, Colonel uh, Sartoris, makes a gentleman's agreement to overlook her taxes as an act of charity, though it is done under a pretense of a repayment towards her father. To to as you as Emily's pride after her father's death years later when the next generation has come to power Emily insists to um, insist on maintaining this informal arrangement flatly uh, deigning she owes any taxes stating I have no taxes in Jefferson after this the council declines to Raise the issue due to her um, obduracy. Emily has become a recluse. Uh, she is never seen outside of the house and only rarely accepts people into it. The community eventually comes to view her as a herid hereditary uh, obligation on the town, who must be humored and tolerated. The funeral is a large affair. Emily had become an institution, so her death uh, sparks a great deal of curiosity about her recursive nature and of what remains of her house. After she is buried, a group of townsfolk enters her house to see what remains of her life there. Toby walked out of the house and uh, was never seen again. Giving the townspeople access to Miss Emily's house, the door to her upstairs bedroom is locked. Some of the townsfolk break down the door to see what has been hidden for so long. Inside, among the gifts that Emily had bought for Homer, lies the uh, decomposed proxy of Homer Baron on the bed. On the pillow beside him is the indentation of a head and a single strand of grey hair, indicating that Emily had um, slept with Homer's proxy. The house is an uh, indicator revealing um, how Emily struggled to keep everything the same in a frozen time period, avoiding change. So that's all about now. Now the character of Emily Grierson, the main character uh, of the story, and, uh, and another character is Homer Baron. Emily's romantic interest, then the narrator unnamed, and the colonel Sartoris, the former mayor, whom uh, remitted Emily's taxes, Mr. Grierson, Emily's father, and the cousins, Emily's extended relatives from Alabama. To be Emily's cook or gardener, who also acts as her family retainer. So that's all about uh, the short story of uh, a rose for.